Did you see that one? <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Channel for intelligent and curious people like you who are searching for human sexuality and beyond human psychology have a ball in the age of artificial intelligence. And you know, in this channel, we uh, talk about our beloved robot partners, lab robots. And uh, today we are going to discuss something that is uh, really, really fascinating, which is the backbone of modern humanities. And uh, for uh, brevity, for simplicity, I'd like to break it down, this discussion, into three parts. This is the first part one, that is an analysis of carbon fiber composites, which actually is the one of the backbones of humanoid robots. Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you have already subscribed, tons of thanks for your support. Of course, there are others. Uh, I discussed about uh, aluminium alloys. Uh, I also talked about fibers. I also talked about steel, etc. But uh, this uh, carbon fiber composite is something else. And you know why we need this? Why we need a backbone? Because we want to have some fun with our robot partners, isn't it? And for having some fun with our robot partners, either in our bedroom or in our dining room, in our garden, wherever else, whatever place it could be, this backbone is extremely important. Why this backbone is extremely important? I don't want to go for an explicit run for it because you know that the quest to build human and robots that can match the agility, strength and efficiency of a human is one of the greatest challenges in modern engineering. A primary obstacle is weight because if a human robot is very, very weighty, very, very heavy, you cannot handle it. You cannot just handle it. You cannot take it on your body, right? If it is too heavy. So traditional materials like steel and aluminum, of course, although they are very, very strong, they are heavy. So every gram added to a robot's frame requires more powerful and heavier motors to move because you know when a robot moves i'll talk about it in my later videos of course how a robot moves how the motors functions that that is a separate topic indeed but when a human robot moves on your bed or in your garden whatever else there are motors right and every gram every gram you add for the frame okay yeah if it is heavy the motors run uh, in fact, much, much, uh, 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 how to say, the mo the pressure on the motor is much heavier, okay, which in turn require larger and heavier batteries to power. So that is actually heaviness directly is linked to the power consumption. That means the battery life. So ultimately, you are a loser. If your robot partner is heavier, then you are a loser. Right? This creates a vicious cycle of increasing mass and energy consumption. I hope you understand the whole perspective. And uh, keeping that in our mind, carbon fiber reinforced polymers, we also call it CFRPS, or simply carbon fiber, break this cycle completely. They are composite materials made of thin, strong crystalline filaments of carbon woven into a fabric and then permanently set within a polymer resin. The result is a material with an exceptional strength to weight ratio. So basically, we need to keep in mind that the your robot partner will be very strong at the same time, but not very weighty, not very heavy. It should be lightweight, strong and lightweight, right? So weight to strength or strength to weight ratio for making it uh, uh, good enough and for making it work, carbon fiber reinforced polymers or CFRPS is the best choice is one of the best choices of course there are many other choices i will talk about uh, it later making it the current gold standard for high performance human robots like boston dynamics at last you have probably seen at last moving jumping and uh, lifting heavy materials etc so these robots also another good uh, thing is for for your use because how car it this this carbon fiber 
helps robots withstand force because when you have some fun with your robot partner think about it imagine when you are having some fun with your robot partner you need to uh, pressure it you need to apply some pressure in some joints and some somewhere in, your, in its body parts so this carbon fiber helps robots to withstand those pressures those force and a robot's ability to withstand force is not a single property but a combination of factors combination of factors so carbon fiber excels in several key areas that contribute to a robot's overall durability and performance so in my next video i'll talk about those uh, uh, those several key areas okay and i also talk about pros and cons don't worry about it so keep watching wooden sled and remember that i upload uh, as much as possible uh, uh, every day so you will get videos if you are a really robot lovers uh, then you will get videos on robots on your robot partners from its head to toe different sectors different sections different uh, entities different uh, components i'll talk about them i talk about them so so keep watching wooden sled and that is it from today but in my next video i'll talk about the key other key factors that are uh, behind this backbone of modern humanoids so